Why did mm -hmm. you put yourself into a big people position, people where, you, position. where you have to interact? That, that is the job itself, okay. interacting with people. I wanted to test myself, basically, and to see how far I can go being around people not on my own terms. Um, because being a bartender, you have to be around people. You have to do multiple things at once, and I'm not that good at it. In fact, I'm not great at it at all. So I figured it will help me be in that position and move a little faster, get used to being in that position, and push the boundaries. And the point of that is? Just to get used to it. So when I become a professor, and I'll be around students all the time, then I can teach and research and still understand what it's like to be compassionate, but still under pressure. You attend, obviously attend the Asperger's group from time to time. That got, I don't go anymore. I used to go, it got to be, it got to be very hard because everybody wants to um, have the social, like hang out, eat, talk, and. What did, what did you want to do in the group? What did you think the group was about? I wanted to talk when I wanted to talk. But not all the time. So you wanted to be around people, but not... All the time. Yeah, not um, interact. Just yeah, people. hours. Hours. They talk to each other for hours. My God. How can you talk for hours? Dating is kind of hard because of Asperger's. It's a good, I think it's good to start with friendships or something like that. Then lead to, then go on to relationships. Mm -hmm. Do you think about your future a lot? Yeah, thinking about the future. Just worry about the present time. <laughs> Don't sweat the technique. Don't sweat the what? Don't sweat the technique. What does that mean? Don't sweat it out. Don't don't jump the gun. Don't put things too hard. Yes, I write poetry. And last night, I, um, when I um, spoke to you on the phone, I was in DuPont Circle. Now, that's, that's one of my inconsistencies. Because in DuPont Circle, you're, 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 you're um, um, performing or reading poetry in front of maybe 50 or 100 people. At that time, then I can do that. At a later date in time, I would like to have a boyfriend and then eventually a husband and children. But right now my education comes first. First and foremost is definitely my education. If I happen to get a boyfriend along the way, then that's great. But right now I'm happily single. I only have to worry about myself and my hamster. How do, what do you want people to think about you? I, I want them to know that I'm a normal person, uh, just like everyone else, and that, I, I, and that I'm, not, I'm not crazy or stupid or, or retarded or anything. I'm a diehard activist. I marched on Washington for gay rights. I march for women's rights, I march for human rights. I have seen the decline of activism and I've seen people become more responsible, less creative, less willing to speak out against oppression, but the winds of change are blowing. How can you not hear them? How can you not see them? This, this night makes me think of the possibilities of all movements, of all people forming one large alliance the winds of change are blowing. Can you hear it? <laughs>